I'm back. This is this is I think this is our location. Now. This is the favorite location. Honestly, it's just so cozy and like I built this location. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I built the house myself and not fun. I didn't do that, but I did get this plant stand and then my mom gave me all these plants and I kind of like arranged it and then obviously the painting you see I guess I feel like I have a lot of influence in this space but I'm back again and I had a topic on my mind basically <clears throat> my last video was regarding being trans having a relationship with God being Christian I say Christian because it was more so just about having a relationship with God more so than it was about being a devout Christian that follows all those standards to check off a box that says I'm a Christian so I had some lingering thoughts regarding that a lot of I got a lot of comments uh, clearly it was a very a lot of people engaged with the video for obvious reasons it's a very intriguing topic to hear a trans person talk about God because usually the narrative around trans people is that we just don't we're so out of touch and far away from God when you know I'm I'm speaking out about this because the narrative again is just that trans people gay people have no relationship with God or it's not real or as valid as a cis person or a heterosexual person and it's just not true um there's gay people that love God there's trans people that love God there is people of all shapes sizes colors ethnicities gender identities all that that have a relationship with God if you are a human if you were born into this earth you have the capability and you have a phone number a lifeline to God like we all do so I'm really here to debunk that narrative that people think that trans people have a distorted view or relationship with God that I'm just so out of touch that I don't know who God is. How can I possibly know the real God if I'm trans like that is just it's malarkey. It's malarkey if I say so. But this video, I really specifically want to talk about and say that being LGBT is not a sin. I really don't believe that specifically because let me tell you some reasons. One, I've done research. You can look at. So I guess when you say being trans is a sin, it's really subjective because in a community like the Native American community or the Native community, indigenous folks, they really, I've read, they saw trans people or bi-gender individuals, people that had the male and female characteristics, traits, they enacted both like a trans person. That's that's how they were described. A, imagine... A bi-gender person to Native Americans is a modern-day trans person like me, right? Like how I say I'm a female man. They saw, Natives saw trans people as from God. They saw them as from God, that they were so tapped in with God, they were able to 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 embody a, a, the male side and the female side in one. That trans people in their eyes were a like a heaven-sent being that could see both. And I agree with that. Why? Because I also don't think God is a man. I don't. God can be a man, but I don't think God is just a man. I think God transcends gender. And I'm saying this from a place of real belief. And I believe God is in me. And I believe what I say has conviction and it's truth. So this is what I'm going to say. Hear me out. This is, this, is, this is what this is for. Just to hear me out. You don't got to switch over to my thinking, but hear me out. God transcends gender. We always say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, my Lord, like God, he's a man. God can be a man, I believe. If we're talking about Christianity, Jesus, he's a man. Jesus Christ is a man. But I'm talking about God, the God of everything. I don't see God as just a man. I think God could have been on this earth as Jesus Christ, which was a man. But I don't think God is a man. Because if like, if God is, is really the parent of all of us, why would God only be a man if females are here on this earth, trans people, intersex people, all in between? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we are a representation of God. Period. Like, that's that's facts. We have God within all of us. We are tapped in spiritually. We are connected. We are a representation of God. So look around. Look at the population. You see males, females, trans people. What makes y'all think God didn't know that and create us in their image? I think I think God is way bigger than just male. And then again, that's society, right? We see males as the ones that dominate. So when we think of God, the dominator or the or the ruler or the creator of all, it has to be a man because in normal society, men are the ones doing the leading and all the the high up positions, right? Who's the CEOs in a lot of companies? Men. Who's who's the president? Men, 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 men. So we so we we connect power with men, but like 
let's get like I'm trying to get out of that thinking because I genuinely believe and know that God is not just a man whatsoever but God can be I believe God can be everything combined the same way I say I'm a female man I believe God can be a female God can be a male like God isn't even God is bigger than gender but however you want to refer to God God can be God can be your heavenly mother God can be your heavenly father God can be whatever you want God to be and I think the way I think I'm very open-minded if you can't tell because a lot of closed-minded individuals they don't like to break out and think for themselves they they're believing the narrative that they've been told by their religions like my the whole comment section in my last video was um this is not wrong I love bible verses I think they have a lot of meaning but we're only talking about like the Christian or Catholic Bible. That's what you, that's what you you guys are referring to. That's what we're referring to when when we list the Bible verses and say like, look at this Bible verse, look at this Bible verse. Like these things are distorted, and I say that to say like, this is the Anglo culture by like Christianity. I'm from Nigeria. Christianity was brought to Nigeria because we were colonized by Britain. Before that, we had our own customs, our own religion, and our own way of thinking. So it kind of baffles me that, you know, people get on the high horse of being a Christian or being this religion, and then they spit and then they 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 act as if there's no other religions that exist or there's no other ways of thinking that exist. It's just black and white. Oh, my Bible says this, so you're wrong. Like, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but I think it's super limiting because I'm not gonna lie. I I don't know. In the comments, I haven't really seen other religions. There's usually most people that are Christians, and they give me the the Bible verses that I recognize because, like I said, I went to Christian school and I've studied Christianity and the Bible. I literally had to recite Bible verses. All the Bible verses that I see people comment are from the Christian Bible. So, why is it that the Christian belief? I haven't heard that much from them. The, I think someone probably that's Muslim has commented on my video, but it's most of the Christians that I that I personally get critiques from, and I'm not mad at anyone, but I'm just trying to have like let's debunk this, let's let's break this apart. Like why are we so like? So people might not like this, but the patriarchy, right, which is upholding men to a certain standard. Like it is, it is so apparent in our lives that we even apply it to spirituality, which is supposed to be free flowing, and it's supposed to connect us to ourselves and God, and like, it's just supposed to be fun, like lively, and we narrow it down to patriarchy. Oh, men lead. God is a man. Everything like it's just so limiting, and 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 this narrative is what tells Christianity that tells people, or you know, I say Christianity. And Catholicism, because those are those are the religions that I know, kind of push this narrative onto trans people. It's probably other religions as well, but let me just finish. So they push these narratives onto trans people, onto gay people that that were sinning. Like I, the the feeling that I feel inside is just it, I I want to say it hurts, but I know God, and I, God is gonna help me to get what God wants to get across through this channel. Whether y'all like it or not, it's going to happen. I'm just a voice for God because a lot of people don't understand that you can be trans, gay, and have the same deep connection with God that is pure. And I even got a comment. Someone said, you know, basically they said I was sitting. They said, you know, you're, you're changing yourself. You're, you know what I mean? You're changing yourself. If God created you perfect, they, they gave me a Bible verse. They said, if God created you perfect, why are you changing yourself? And just made me feel bad for being myself, really. I'm going to be honest. Made me feel bad for being myself, but it doesn't get to me that much because, like I said, I know God. And I know my mission on this earth and just in this simple YouTube video is to get to just share the livelihood of someone like me. Again, this is no shade, nothing. I'm not mad. I understand people are just, they think a certain way. Cause I used to as well. I used to have this like limiting mindset that any, I used to hate gay people. When I was in Christian school, I hated gay people. I was so close minded. I was like, oh, I'm Christian. I'm better than everyone else. They don't get it. They're rebelling. They're sinners. I hate gay people. I hate trans people. I used to be like that until like, I just had to really unlearn a lot of stuff and had be open minded. But to, to get back to what this person was saying, you know, they were trying to help me saying, hey, that, and they also started the message saying they support me whenever I do. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the way that you 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 set it up. Very kind. You really are, just want the best for me. And you want to make sure. But I know a lot of people 
you know, maybe they've seen a lot of the narratives that, you know, people that transition, they only do it from, you know, trauma because they had trauma in the childhood or they were sexually abused, whatever. And even then, it kind of made me think, I was like, okay, like, I had to explain myself. I was like, I'm trans, I'm who I am because I'm who I am. Um, my life was actually picture perfect until I started being more masculine and my parents and people around me just didn't. Like, they didn't know how to navigate that. So then my life started getting a little more difficult, right? When I started looking gay, like a gay girl, or I started saying, like, hey, I'm interested in more masculine things. That's when my life kind of got challenging. But beforehand, there was no trauma. There was really no trauma. There was no trauma. I had a great, great life. Um, I still do, but I'm saying, like, there was nothing that would have catapulted me to want to do this from a place of, like, trauma or trying to run from something. This happened, came about so organically, which is why I also explain how I even, like I literally, this came from me organically. I didn't know any trans people. I didn't even know being trans was a thing. I just had this feeling inside of me that I wanted to be masked and I felt like being a boyfriend instead of a girlfriend. And like this feeling was like a feeling, like I like this is me. Like it was un, un you couldn't deny it. I couldn't ignore it. That's how it felt. It wasn't just a passing thought as a little giggly 15 year old like hmm i wonder if i was a boy like no it was like like no christian like what if you, like try just try like it was like that like the same force in a good way like the same force that made me want to be a youtuber where it was like this is this is your path do it so that's how i see it like it wasn't just a random thing nothing catapulted me to it and then i also want to vouch for those that did experience sexual trauma or just trauma in general you, they can still be trans. Just because someone experienced trauma does also not discount them from being trans. Because being trans is not a lifestyle choice. You don't choose to be trans. What you choose to do is to come out and actually live your truth. But you can, you're can you going to be trans regardless. I was going to feel like this for the rest of my life regardless. I can just keep suppressing it and suppressing it and suppressing it. But this is going to be me. I've seen other trans people have suppressed it their whole life. Transition when they were 30 after they were married just kept suppressing it just kept suppressing it. This is you. It's not a choice I am what I am it, Regardless of your sexual trauma trauma I keep saying sexual because I know a lot of the trauma that we're talking about is it is sexual You know what I mean? A lot of sexual abuse happens Causes people to want to just you know what I mean go in all different directions But being just because you're trans and you went through trauma It does not discount you being trans what I will say though is yes, you know you have to if you did experience some like life-changing trauma, I would say, you know, do your extra therapy, do your extra check-ins with yourself, make sure this is that you're doing it not because you're fueled by trying to run from the trauma, whatever. And I don't, I don't even feel like I have to say that because at least in America, you have to go through therapy. Um, you know, I, I went through therapy before I was 18. While I was 18, I still go to like, therapy now, obviously not for the same reasons, but back then to just get the process going. Um, I had to go to therapy and that's where I would have uncovered any trauma that was in my life They ask you deep questions. They they question you session after session after session after session after session I don't know how many sessions I had. I think maybe I've had sessions. I've had a lot of sessions So my point is there's a process to this. I, I, I didn't just wake up and say that I was trans and I Wish a lot of people could just like just just open your minds and just try to get a better picture or like you know what I'm saying? We're in this together. A lot of people that don't get it are on my channel. And I love that because you will get it. Hopefully, God willing, I'm. this is what I'm doing this for. I want people to get it. I want to keep debunking these narratives that trans, being trans is a sin, that there's only one way to live, that God does not like what you're doing, that you're going against God's purpose. Like, I don't, it's so subjective. And again, I don't think, I, I, I think I got kind of irritated with someone. I said, don't put your beliefs on me, which is I, I, want, I want to take that back because as people, we do we put our beliefs on others, right? I think maybe what I was trying to say was don't force them on me or I don't know. But look, look, if you watch my videos, what I ask of you, I, you know, I don't I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me anything. But what I ask is that you come to these videos with an open mind and just try to let's try to understand each other because everyone that's commented you know what I mean? And told me their viewpoint about how they don't agree with it. But then again, I want to say there's been a lot of love. And I appreciate that because I know that I'm doing the right thing. But for those that don't understand, they don't quite get it. And they think I'm like off the rails. And I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Just just, just watch my continued videos. I'm going to go deeper into this and just share my experience. Keep getting word 
from from God within me, from myself, just talking. We're just gonna speak. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna we're gonna, you know what I mean? We're gonna smooth everything to where I want. I don't want my channel to only be for trans people. I want people that aren't trans to come here and get a better understanding of what other individuals in this world live like, how they live, how they're how they're treated, what their brains think like, and all that. Because it's not your fault necessarily if you don't know any experiences of real trans people you know this is your opportunity you have to go out and look for it so continue staying on my channel this is where you will find the enlightenment the understanding and and, and all of that because i'm not here to shut down people and that's what i also ask back is respect i'm not here to shut down people and cuss you out and talk to you nasty i'm not here to do that i'm here to defend me and who i know i am and who i know god has put me on this earth to be and I'm, and I'm here to help you understand. You know what I mean? That's how we're going to get somewhere. Because literally, like I said, the person that commented that, I don't think that they wanted to be mean or anything. They, that's just, they were just coming at me with their beliefs and telling me how they see things from their perspective. And I was reassuring them, hey, you know, I'm all good over here. This is really me. Re you know what I mean? Just having dialogue. So, yeah, this is a safe space. I don't want anyone to come at people in the comments crazy if they have a different opinion than something I'm sharing or my, my subscribers share. This is a place where we should we should help one another. If someone doesn't understand, we can say things politely. Like let's you let's let's be polite to each other and get dialogues going that are gonna help us. So then 10 years from now, when you run into another trans person, you have a better insight into what their life is like, and you don't only see them as what you've been taught to think of when you think of trans people. You don't see them as just uh, these surgery loving, uh, what is it? What is it? What do they say I'm doing? I'm not manipulating my body. I'm uh, mutilating my body. You don't see trans people as mutilators and against God. I want you to see a trans person and be like, God is within them. They're just different than me. Simple, it's like simple. And we're not even that different. But, you know, obviously, if you're cis, I'm trans. We're a little different, but we're still human, which is at the base of everything. So, yes, continue to lead with love. That's literally how we're going to get through this. I'm not even just telling you to watch my videos because I want views. I'm telling you this because I want to build a community that helps everyone get a better picture and, and understand each other. And we don't have to just be so close-minded. And I'm not making this video to say, don't be a Christian, don't stay true to your religion, but also understand that, you know what I mean? A lot of the verses and things can be interpreted and you say that they can't may be okay, but you've also interpreted them to to fits the current life situation or you know what i mean people commented bible verses you you got that verse and you manipulated it to fit this to fit my video to to comment under it right so be very mindful of that because a lot of these verses can be manipulated and i also want to preface i put god personally like this is how this is just what i'm, I'm gonna lay it out here i put god above the bible the the bible is a tool that i believe was given all religions usually have a bible or some type of Law. I put God above the Bible because, again, other cultures, even my Nigerian culture before colonization, before Christianity was introduced to my people, had our own rituals. Did you even know in my, in my culture, kids were born and they wouldn't assign their gender at birth. They wouldn't go, oh, that's a boy. Oh, that's a girl. They would just have the child, raise the child, make sure the child's healthy. And then wherever that child gravitated towards it, they gravitated towards feminine roles or masculine roles. Then that's when they started to bring gender up and say, okay, look at how the kid is acting. Let's 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 put them in this position. Like that's I've been doing research. That's my people. So I say that to say I'm I'm kind of done just living in this Americanized English Christianity way because that's not a one size fits all solution. And it's not gonna help us understand. We're 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 all we're all made different. We all are from different cultures for a reason. I don't think Christianity can be a one-size-fits-all approach to the whole world. That's that's very, very, very limiting. Because when you talk about trans people, we maybe are not represented in Christianity. We're not. Trans people are not represented in Christianity. But you go to other cultures and you see them praising us and saying that we're a beautiful creature. God, God sent beings. So it's a little contradictory. That's exactly why I... I just can't I just can't keep putting myself under 
the gunfire and the constant attack of being a devout Christian when Christianity doesn't even fight for me or Christianity doesn't even uplift me and explain my existence in the way that I know it should be explained. I know that my existence is a beautiful, God-given thing, the duality of being female, of being male, of, of, of just having this mindset that is so open and can, and can uh, you know, include just different sides. I see. I don't see things just as a man. I don't see things just as a woman. I have. I have both perspectives. That is a beautiful thing. And Christianity and and these religions that are limiting and don't support the LGBT community. They they make us to seem like we're we are outcast, nothing. And that's fine. I'm not trying to change Christianity. But what I can do is make sure that I'm not going to put myself under and keep. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna live by the rules. I'm not gonna live by rules and I'm not going to I'm not going to submit you know what I mean to these standards that are not serving me and my people like I can't do it like I, I can't do it and I'm kind of over the grabbing stuff from the bible to, to shun a person I, I'm over it I'm, I'm over it I'm over it I'm over it I hope you understand what I'm saying it's not a shot at anyone personally but just try to understand me where I'm coming from I am a very precious being the way that I am right now. I do not think being trans is a sin. And I do not believe being trans is something to hate. I do not think God hates trans people. In fact, I think I am spiritually anointed and touched in certain ways that others will just not understand. But through my channel, I will help you understand. You will see my growth. You will see all of this because I am tapped in with God. Whether you believe it or not, you will see. And I really do hope stay to see if you don't i think this video or my other videos will find you even if you don't go looking for them because i'm just putting out there if you they're gonna find you you're gonna see me you're gonna understand it's gonna click one day all right all right that's it y'all i appreciate y'all this was not even a rant i don't want to call it a rant this was just me talking and getting out what i had to say because this is very heavy on my heart because i love god god loves me God loves all of us. We should all be able to live in this world freely and all look at each other as people that God loves and not as people that God hates or thinks constantly needs to repent. Like, let's just pray for each other. Be nice. Someone prayed for me. They said they support me. I love that. I love y'all. Everyone that's been supporting me, I love you. Everyone that, had, everyone that doesn't even understand me but still stays, still comments, still tries to understand even when you don't, I love you because eventually you will understand. I'm trying to learn Spanish. Now I understand a little bit of Spanish. When I first started, I had no idea what they were saying. You have to keep putting yourself in the environment to learn. You will learn. Keep coming back to my channel. Keep talking to trans people. Keep talking to people that aren't like you. You will learn. All right. Peace out.